So this is our mission bay. Uh, it's one of the great things about uh, the ship we have is that we can do multiple different things like the CEOs told you, uh, different mission packages, different missions. Um, and really this, this area gives us flexibility to do things we weren't necessarily designed to do. Um, you know, there's, there's thoughts and, and ideas about maybe doing a special forces type support type thing because we can bring in any type of connex and whatever connex connectivity they need, if it's a birthing module or if it's actual like operations center uh, with computers, we can set that up in here and then we can go support whatever mission that we're tasked to do. So uh, that's another thing uh, about this ship that's uh, very versatile and very flexible is we have this big open area that we can kind of do, adjust to whatever we need to do. Another unique uh, feature of the, being in on the LCS is that uh, instead of having a giant crew birthing, which you'll see on most ships where they have crew members, maybe 60, 70 in one area sleeping, uh, with one head that they share. Uh, there's some extra creature comforts beyond LCS. Uh, some listed folks have uh, four per room, uh, one bathroom for each, and I, I think they all love that a lot. Uh, by sleeping in a 50 man, 60 man, or, or, or lady birthing area. Um, so that's another nice feature. They get to have carpet, uh, own bathroom that they only share with like three or four instead of 50 or 60. So, uh, and the, the racks are actually quite big. On those ships that have those, those birthers, so many people. Uh, trying to roll over in your rack space is sometimes pretty hard. So the officers eat in the wardroom, and uh, to my left is our cruise mess. So my, our E6 and below, our petty officers and below. Uh, it's kind of nice to relax and get away from uh, those senior you who you, you work for and just kind of relax, have a, have a little bit of lunch before you go back out to work. Uh, this is our forecastle, uh, forward part of the ship, um, and uh, up above us is the bridge. Uh, behind you, you see our, our, our main weapon, which is our 57 millimeter gun. This is our ship's bell. Uh, every ship has a bell on the forward part of the ship to help when there is low visibility, but it serves another purpose as well. Dating back, uh, you know, hundreds of years uh, to the early days of sailing ships, um, inside their ship's bell. If a crew member has a newborn baby and they get baptized on board, they'll get baptized in the bell with water in there, and then the child's name will be etched into the inside of the bell. So any ship you go to, if they've had per, uh, people have their children baptized on board, you'll see some names etched in there and dates. What you see up here is the same duties and responsibilities of a combat watch center on a destroyer or a cruiser uh, crammed into three personnel. We have video cameras so we can see what's going on throughout the ship. Uh, again, we don't have the normal amount of watch standards uh, that most ships do, so we have a lot of video cameras, video screens. Um, they can be programmed to look at different things. 